Today I'm reviewing the Truly Devious series. I read these a few months ago, but I'm just getting around to reviewing it. I really love this series so much so that I bought the fourth book immediately, and it happened to be on sale. The first three is just one mystery broken up into three, but the fourth one is is a I mean it's just a different mystery but with the same characters. Okay, the three books are Truly Devious. The first one, the vanishing stare. The second one, and the hand that—I mean, the hand on the wall. The third one. Okay. Anyway, I I love these, but I also had a few gripes with it. Okay, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but without any spoilers, I'm not sure how I feel about the resolution of the mystery. The, I mean, I can't tell you without spoiling it, but I'm just. I'll just say that I'm not sure how I feel about the resolution. It seemed a little anticlimactic. I mean, not anticlimactic. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's just, I just feel it could have been better. Also, I'm not sure how I like David as a love interest. I feel he could have been written better. And the subplot with the politician, I really wish they had been more specific so that we know why it's so bad he become president. Like we're told he's racist, he passes racist laws, and he posted a racist board. But we're not told what exactly he did that racist. Because sometimes someone can say it's racist, but it's not. I mean, at least from what I've seen, like I've seen a few things that people say it's racist. I don't really think it's racist. Which why I'd rather we be told that, I mean, we be told what this thing he did is so that we as readers can decide for ourselves if it's racist and also he kind of seems to be made into too much of a one-dimensional character like they show he cared about his son but it's not really expanded upon and I mean they don't really actually show much care like, it's just sort of hinted that he cared about his son but none of the characters even like acknowledge it like they just don't seem to acknowledge it as a plus point in him or like, he just made to be this one-dimensional evil villain. So I just wish there had been more depth to the character. Because a racist politician, even if it's a racist politician, a corrupt politician, like, he can still be... I mean, he can still have his plus points, like being a truly caring father or something. Like, he didn't have to be made, you know, completely one-dimensional. And if we have to expand to three books, do we really need that subplot? Because... Yeah, sometimes you need subplots, but when you already have a story that's long enough, you already have a mystery that has so much to cover, do you really need that kind of subplot? Yes, the politician's plot advances the main plot in some way, but my point is that it could have been condensed or done a little differently, and that the politician could have been made a little less one-dimensional for a subplot villain. But I mean, those are just one thing. I mean, it didn't spoil the book for me. I really did like these, which is why I bought the fourth book. Okay, spoiler. Getting to spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, you can just go to the timestamp in on the screen. Okay, the spoilers part. Like I said, I really I'm not sure how I feel about the ending. I felt the 1936. Resolution was a little anticlimactic. I really thought we'd see Alice as a grown, I mean, as an old woman, or at least meet her descendants, but she ended up being dead as a child, which I felt was anticlimactic. She, even if she didn't die right away, she still died like a year later, and no one even killed her. <laughs> and the current mystery, I'm not sure how I feel about the teacher being, I mean, the headmaster being the culprit. I mean, I guess it, I like it better than the Alice resolution, and it was a little surprising, but I don't know, I'm not sure how. I don't know, I'm just more iffy on that resolution. But anyway, those are all my thoughts on the Truly Devious series. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.